All right, so we are going to try to load some Man Lake Mating Nuke textbook. How they suggest to do it. So, what I did is I put a bunch of frames in there. There's the said mating nuke. He's heavy. <laughs> it should be all this honey up here. So I put a queen excluder on. We don't want to smoke them too heavy. Like we have some success, not as good as I was hoping. But... Oh well, it is what it is. See a couple frames in here they didn't draw out, but that one they didn't. That one they didn't. We're hoping there's brood on those. Let's see. There's a nice looking food frame. Another nice looking food frame. Oh, well, we need food frames. This is all, this is all we want right here. It's all larva and eggs. Pollen. Honey. Pollen and eggs. That one's good. And I have these frames I cleaned up. Scrape the old comb off them. Another nice looking frame. That's what we want right there. Because once that hatch is out, it'll fill that old mate nuke. Just gotta close them for now. This is perfect. It's got some hatching brood down here. It's like perfect. And I might as well give him a food frame, right? I don't have to worry about feeding that one.
eggs, larvae. I got some food. I got some virgins hatching over there in the over there in that starter. They're in that uh those nursery frame. They're just hatching, so all we'll do is we'll walk them in tonight after dark. That's like a food frame. Food frame. Food frame. They're just getting ready to clean that one up. So this one's not gonna have no brood in it. That's okay. As long as I got plenty of nurse bees. I'll have a queen here at shortly after dark, so another food frame. Well, unfortunately, she didn't lay it up like I hoped. I did give it some brood frames, some new brood frames down below, so she's probably been down there laying on those. That was probably a mistake on my part. All right, so that's six. Wow, that's a food frame there. All right, we got some eggs on this one. Some larva. There's larva. There might be some eggs in that one, I can't quite tell. That one's going in there. Bees are getting worked up.
what we're going to do is we're going to stick those in weeds about that high. It just works better for some reason. I wanted to do 20 of these, but I'm not going to have enough brood, so I'm going to have to shake some in. The stronger you make them, you know, the better return you get. Got a little bit of... A little bit of... Part of it is they filled it up full of honey, but there is some hatching in there, so that's good. Basically got half of what I wanted. That's why I don't add the syrup in there till later. That's what you end up with, a bunch of bees covered in syrup to do that. Alright, so we got five, half of what I wanted. Now we're going to reload it. You don't need no special soup or anything. I'm gonna put drawn comb on the ends just because that's like the last place they'll draw it, right? It holds 20 frames. I already started my other mate new for these. The Lyson or whatever they're called. They come in there like that. Put a drum on the end.
Yeah, that's how you put them in there. Yeah, you'll get some cross combing, but no big deal. But that's how they say to do it. And we'll just put this excluder. Actually, we probably don't even need the excluder now. It's got all honey above, but I don't know. I probably should do it. Make sure we got the queen down there. That's a good idea. Alrighty. So, alrighty. Well, that's it.